Hi guys, this is the Herdsman. Welcome to a unboxing video of my latest piece of tech. Coming, let's see what it is. It's the DJI Osmo Action, and I also ordered with it a SanDisk 128GB SD card, and then I got an extra battery, which was only about $19. It was very, a lot cheaper than a GoPro battery. And now we're going to open up the Action. Maybe. There we go. There we go, and let's see, right there. Oh, I ripped it, no, there we go. Here we go. Here's the camera itself. And the first little peely thing. And there's one more in the back. To take the cover off, all you gotta do is flip this up. And that comes off. Like that, and then this back piece opens up. Like that, and the actual camera itself, you just slide out. And there's the actual camera. It doesn't have a battery in it right now, but then we're gonna feel this one. Ooh, that one made a sound. Alright, so we'll put the camera back here. And the rest of what's in the box. Little gel thing. And we have the stickable mount. Right here, it can stick on dashboards and all sorts of stuff. And a charging cable it is a USB type C and it also comes with a little thumb screw for putting it on the mounts put this stuff back here we have one more little sticky mount um, this one's for sticking on pretty much anything. It, this can detach. You pull this out. Oh, you push it in and rotate it and it comes off. The piece that holds the camera and you can put it on different mounts. Which I will probably stick one of these on my tripod to, uh, hold the camera on my tripod, which will be very nice. Next thing in the little box, we have the Osmo Action, which of course with DJI, they send you a manual for pretty much everything. So you get like one for the battery, one for the camera, every, pretty much everything. And little informational card. And last but not least, the battery which comes in a little case so we're gonna open it up and there's the battery which is also part of the bottom of the camera so you can see there's no flap or nothing you look at which way it goes which it goes this way and then you stick it in there until it clicks and I think I just hit the power button there we go and to take it out you put that over that way this little switch right here 
and then you hit this switch and it pops out. It's very easy. Stick it back in. And then to power it on, this button right here on the front, press and hold for a couple seconds, and it's on. I'm going to go through the setup. So, English, and I've got to activate it with the app, and since I'm recording with my phone, kind of need it. So, I'll be right back. Alright, and while that is downloading, I will unbox this battery, which looks... Kind of hard to get out, honestly. Grab a knife again. Trying to cut this cardboard. Alright, there we are. And one nice thing about this is while I'm in the field, there's your little manual for the battery, like I said. DJI supplies manual for every little component. Oh, this one comes with its own case. Alrighty. So you can carry your batteries around in a case, and there's also a little slot right there for a micro SD card. And you could probably fit a big SD card in there too. So this battery, same as the other one. No noticeable difference. So pop that back in there. And let's get the SD card out and see what this one's all about. So this has speeds up to 160 megabits a second, and it reads at 90 megabits a second. Um, it's A2, SanDisk, it's Dream. I paid $39 for this SD card. So let's see, how do you open it? Okay, it says you, right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice, too bad the battery wasn't this easy. Hmm. All right, and it says open here. Okay, that's not how I was supposed to do it. Oh, there's just little film on the back. Okay, so you cut the film out and peel it back. Come on, go ahead and peel. And there's the SD card. Oh, that's probably not good for it. I am gonna put it in this battery case for just for now. I'll get it back out when I need it. Oh, that's the right direction. There we go. So it fits nicely in there. And we got to get the adapter out. There it is. Simple, not much. I have like four of these right now. So uh, let's see if this one can go in here or not. Doesn't look like it. That stinks. Anyway, camera just shut off on its own. It does have a time. It'll, when it's recording, the screen will fall asleep and it'll just like still be recording. Um, and then you can tap it and it'll come back alive. And when it's not recording, I guess it just shuts off. So I think that's everything in this box. is got all the button presses and everything. And it's just like a GoPro, which actually I've never owned, so I can't tell you much about a GoPro. So you stick the mount in here, take the two, stick it together, take the thumb screw and stick it through, which you gotta find the hole. And like that, just like that, and tighten it up. And the case is in there, and it doesn't move at all. So uh, that's how it works, and then when you done with that mount you just loosen it back up and it pulls right back out so I'm going to get this thing set up and then get you some sample footage
Alright guys, this is the audio from the DJI Osmo Action. Um, I'm not going to know what it sounds like until I get editing, but I'll narrate some of this afterwards. And I'll tell you what I think of it. And um, I'll probably put some uh, clips of the iPhone 6 that I record with in here. So far this is a really good camera guys. I really love it. I'm controlling it with my phone right here with the app. I can do recording and everything on the app, so it's super cool. Alright guys, now this is the audio from my iPhone 6. And I'm just putting this in here to compare side by side with the Osmo. And tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me if you guys would buy this camera. And yeah, that's it. Guys, this is 4K at 60 frames per second with the 128GB SD card. I have just over two hours of record time so that's really good at 4k at 60 frames per second I hope you like this new video. Uh, this is my latest tech review of the Osmo Action. It is awesome. I definitely recommend it to everyone. The price point is amazing and you can't get better video than this. And they fixed. Uh, I saw a YouTuber make a comment that the audio gets behind with the video when you use Rocksteady. I'm using Rocksteady right now and I'm not going to do any special audio editing. I just put a new firmware down and they said it said on it that they fixed that issue so there's no longer that issue. This is a perfect camera guys. This is a vlogger's dream camera. So go in the link down below I'm going to have my affili affiliate account. Go down there buy one, support me and support this channel. The f more uh, buying in the link down below will get more cool tech reviews like this. So go down there and buy some stuff. Uh, I also have a Mavic Pro by DJI. It's amazing. I love that drone. And this camera now adds to my DJI fleet. So go down there and support me in this channel. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.